My dear friends, I'm super excited and pumped to be here with you today. I know you made it your habit to listen to these videos every week and I really want to thank you and I appreciate that you listen to my mumbling, my rumbling and you know my jokes and my weirdness and I really want to appreciate you because I know that, that the world out there is tough. Wherever you are, it's been madness and we are in this hamster wheel. A lot of us, we just keep going and we keep pacing. And this is what today's topic is about. It's about high performance. And, you know, I see there is a big difference between being in a hamster wheel versus being a high performer. You know, let's define those. What does it mean for you to be in a hamster wheel? For me, it means doing the same thing, being stressed out and feeling like, you know, you're working yourself to death. There is no end to it. That it's just one way ticket. And you know, the end of it is just, you're never going to come out of it. If you think about it, it's super sad because you know, you sign up for this, whatever it is, a gig relationship. And you know, there is just, it's horrible. You just feel bad. You wake up every morning, you're dragging it, you're dragging your you know, yourself out of bed to do those things that actually you promised yourself. But along the way, and you see 500 calories, by the way, burned. If you haven't, by the way, a little reminder, keep doing those exercises. It's important. So I hope you went for a walk. That's a part of being a high performer as well. So, you know, but a lot of people here are just dragging themselves into this whole notion of I got to do this. And it's a good thing. There is a difference between, you know, consistency and drudgery. A lot of people just dragging things. But if you decide for a mission, you got to be consistent. You got to put yourself out there. You got to have fun. You got to spice it up. And this is what high performance is about. High performance is really about these kind of three traits I have for you. And it's about what do you think it is? It's about positivity. This is why I'm trying to bring you the thunder of positivity. Then it's about humility and then it's about inspiration. And these are kind of this trifecta um, I've been trying to live in my life a lot. And, you know, I've been, as many of you know, and probably bored by now with my, you know, story born on a, you know, born in Eastern Europe, grew up on a farm. And I learned a lot, especially in this town I was living, it was a depressed town, wasn't really happy. And, you know, there was a lot of bullying. There was a lot of unhappiness, poor people. So you constantly needed to challenge yourself and to be positive in this environment. I'm telling you, this was hard. Remember my own, you know, childhood being bullied many times and, and it learned me or taught me a lesson. And I learned about myself a lot. And one thing that I learned is that I never give up and I try to keep my positivity. I kept it you know, positivity along the way. And I was, you know, smiling and probably that's what <laughs> maybe I deserve the beating for it. But on the other hand, I've really brought this whole mindset into my life to, to go through things as a high performer, because again, have this other notion in mind, those people who were dragging their hamster wheel and I've been there, you've been there, we all have been there and you're not happy in that place. You're negative. You come to work and you're just like pounding the keyboard. It's not a happy place. But if you live a life as a high performer and high performers, they manage their life well. Maybe they drop sometimes a couple of balls, but then they pick them up and they say, okay, I dropped it. What can I do next time better to keep it in the air? And it doesn't mean you need to manage a thousand things, but you know, this is why this, what I'm doing here and what I'm trying to teach you guys, it's not so easy because I'm constantly referring you to this guide, Mastering Body, Mind and Life with these 12 principles. But, you know, if I, if we go through, you know, all these different principles from gratitude to fitness, to masterminding, to, you know, inspiration, to gratitude, are you really doing it? And this is where you ask 90% of people and they just don't, they are not grateful. They are not happy. They are not positive. They don't have a good circle of friends that they, you know, bring together. And this is why, you know, life, if you want to be truly happy and positive about life, obviously it's a decision. That's a big thing, right? You decide you say, Hey, you know, actually everything that Tony Robbins talks about, you know, life happens for you and not to you. So everything that happens in your life, it's a journey, right? You, I mean, when I was starting out, I wasn't always a happy kid. I was a depressed kid. You know, I built myself up and I, you know, in this whole depressed Eastern European 
setup with bullying and working on a farm, you know, waking up early and, you know, taking care of cattle. And we had a lot of things and repairing the house, cutting the grass, cutting the wood every year, year over year for whatever, 15 years, you know, you get tired of that. You get tired of life like that. And, you know, if you don't do it from the right things, don't get me wrong. I mean, there is nothing wrong with living on a farm. It's, it's, you know, a different life. And a lot of people dream about this. The thing is the positivity of it you you need to really cherish that you need to appreciate it. you need to build it up and you need to awaken that there is a great book i don't have it here from barbara frederickson called positivity and she calls the three to one ratio where people basically in companies as well when you know you have this more positivity than less negativity you're thriving but a lot of people don't have this you know the, the right ratio in their life the second point I guys want to give you today is humility. Humility is a huge concept. Uh, many people I've met and you probably too, and you get really quickly discouraged and you don't want to people like that who are arrogant, who are overconfident, because there is a difference between being confident and being arrogant. You can see a speech, somebody, or a speech from somebody, you can see, meet somebody and you're like, I want to be like that person. Look at the aura, look at the positivity, how they are with you know, each other or with other human beings or in this team. You know, this is confidence. This is the skill. This is confidence is basically equal skill. Somebody was able to master a particular skill set. On the other hand, arrogant behavior and I actually met the other days a guy and you know I've never met him in in before but in the circle of friends and I was a bit shocked because I thought wow why you know and I tried to be nice but you know the the way he was answering and the way he came across it's such an off-putting you know feeling when you meet people and they are just think so like high about himself but you know what's hiding behind that we all know it it's insecurity it's fear it's anxiety perhaps it's that you're not tall enough perhaps that you were you know don't you're not rich and that you don't you know drive away or drive off in your porch you know humility on the other side is this ability to serve it's this ability to be yourself be your authentic self and be your best self you do it just because you don't expect anything back but because you know that's your purpose you're able to tap deeper into yourself and it's wisdom really if you think about you know people who you've met and you maybe seen somebody taking out a trash without them even asking or without you know any obligation just because they believe that's their purpose or you know i, I remember i your years back i wrote this article about being a you know garbage man I've seen in our neighborhood people who go you know singing taking the garbage out house after house i mean this is humility this is purpose and you know i want to encourage you again you know where you are i know this is not easy you might be really in a tough spot and situation right now because you're trying to figure out okay what's the next stage for me and and you know you've been maybe showing up in the world in a certain way and my, one way might be arrogance one one way might be that you thought i will show how strong i am and everybody gonna respect me and i will be hard and people will come to me you know i've never believed in this and it doesn't say that it's wrong and it is right but i think there is a better way of doing it and you can still you know really shine this confidence and this ultra magnetism this is what we are doing here together you know you want to become this person that people come to and they say you know i want to hang out with you I love the way you are. I love the way you resonate. I like the way you bring people together. But you cannot do it from the place of arrogance because this is completely different place. And the third point, my friends, if you want to really have an awesome, awesome kick-ass life and really become this high performer at the highest level, you've got to inspire. You got to be the person who actually takes people by hand and say, you know, I've been there. I struggled. Again, it doesn't have to be with reward. It doesn't have to be because you feel like you got to do it and everybody else does it. But there is too little inspiration. There is, I mean, depends where you're looking, but we really live in this curse of the West, as I call it. The people strive by themselves and we need this inspiration. We need people like you who shine and who say, go, let's do it together. Come on, let's not strive by ourselves. Let's really have fun. and. 
you know, it has to be this authentic feeling that people actually see you having fun, you know, enjoying yourself and being just, you know, there out there and really having fun. So I hope it, this served you and this helped you the three kind of the trifecta of high performance and it helped you to be your best self or it helps you to remind you when you're, you know, in a tough situation and you don't know what to do next to say, you know, what would Matteo do? Matteo would tell you, hey, you got this. Be positive, smile, breathe, visualize in your head where you want to go, you know, affirm that you're this positive person and visualize getting through this, over this, underneath, and then really be really humble about it. Hum being humble, it's superpower. And I really get shivers when I think about this because so many of you out there thought this is weakness and, you know, it. It's really not serving you. Being humble actually will will cause that more people gravitate towards you, and that it doesn't make you weaker. Maybe you don't always speak up as the first, but it doesn't mean you're weak. And the third, please think about you know inspiration. Think in those moments when you don't want to do the things you want to do. To say, okay, what will inspire me to be better today? you know, to improve my immunity, to improve my mental clarity, to improve my weight, to improve my sleep, you know, energy levels, digestive wellness, whatever that is, you know, what will inspire me? Perhaps it's this video that will give you the kick and you know, say this person out there, this Matteo, is just telling me to stay healthy, to, you know, be positive. It's not neglect everything else. It's just to be stronger and become a better human being. Because in the end, what it is, it's character that counts. It's not the money in a bank. It's not the accomplishments and the accolades. No, no. It's the character, the human being you become, and you can serve others with such power that people actually say, I want to be that person. So I hope you're great. And I hope you decided to live awesome life. Again, if not, gravitate towards the website, mateomelichar.co and choose your path. There is a lot to un unpack. So until the next time, stay awesome. And I'm looking forward to see you soon.